increases here that was in a, um, just a slight note was the achievement motivation based on the desire to maximize one's potential, not just to do better because your professor will think it's really cool. Right? That actually goes up, as does our sense of social connection, and that's a core component. So now we're on to this piece, self-compassion practices. What are the three core components that Kristen Neff and her team talk about? And what I'm going to do is walk you all through some of these briefly so you can kind of pick what from the menu <coughs> of each option feels most applicable to you so that you leave this room in 30 minutes with a small recipe of something to apply when you have five minutes. Right? Or something to apply when you have 30 seconds from her three components. And what they are are mindfulness, a sense of social connection, and applying comfort to yourself in some way. So mindfulness, pause. Notice what's the thought right now. This, we, I mean, we have so many thoughts that go through, we don't even know what they are half the time, right? I had a live example today at 12.30, got a call that our daughter is sick at preschool. I can't reach my husband. I'm presenting in two hours. I have to go pick her up. Panic. Cool. My dear sweet friend Janine gives us a ride to my car so I can breathe, and she reminds me to breathe. <laughs> and so, but in that moment, the thought was, I have to fix it all, and it's going it, to, it, there was an explosion, right? This is not earth-shattering stuff. Preschoolers get sick. But oh my gosh, this is unsolvable, was the immediate. I won't be able to present. I've worked so hard. Blah, blah, blah. Pause. Okay. Oh, I can practice what I preach ahead of time. Cool. <laughs> nice. Her big thing is, notice this is suffering. You don't have to judge it or compare it to starving children in Ethiopia, right? Which is my mother's quote all the time. We're not starving children in Ethiopia. There are starving children in Flagstaff. We can reel it in a little bit. But I also don't have to feel bad that things aren't that bad. I can know that in my reality, this is suffering. I'm having a hard time right now. The piece about applying comfort. And I'll give you some menu options right now. Are ways that we elicit our oxytocin or mammalian response for comfort. And this is, anybody hear all the famous studies about the orphans in Romania who literally die from lack of touch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we all need it. That's why we know even folks who live alone, teaching them self-soothing uh, processes or self-comfort processes, even if it's going to get a massage, something like that. A little bit of self-soothing touch does wonders for our hormone release. So we do that. And then we simply remind ourselves, I'm not the only one going through this. Right? There are lots of people who've been called out of conferences because their kid was sick. <laughs> you know, There are a lot of people who feel like they have to be superwoman or superman and wear 20 hats at once and make it all look good, <sighs> which never really works. All right. I'm not alone in this. So I'm going to lead you all through some of those um, self-comfort strategies. And then I'll lead you all through a sweet little exercise where we do it all at the same time. So if you want to put down pens and just receive for a moment, this is the part where we can hopefully wake up. Yeah. Okay. So, and of course, adult learning environment, challenge by choice. Do what feels right for you. Okay. So let's all just put our hands on our hearts for a minute. And see, you're not alone. Everyone's doing it. Sense of social connection, so you don't have to worry about looking weird. Okay. Yeah. And if it feels better to close your eyes or find a spot on the floor to focus on, you know, where you don't have to worry about the eye contact effects, just with whatever's going on for you. It's Friday afternoon. It's been a long week. I don't know what everyone's facing for their weekend or their evening, but just a, oh, just a little, maybe a little pat of your heart. 